Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that intro. That was something different. We filmed that around Halloween. I thought you might get a kick out of it, so we put it up there for you. Anyway, we're going to do something different today. Now, I saw a guy on YouTube who made a free energy motor, a motor that runs on nothing, he says, um, from a monopolar magnet. And, of course, I've never even heard of one of those. So we did a whole bunch of research onto it, tried to figure out how this guy made this thing run. And we think we got it. We're not sure, but we're going to give it a shot. So we ran out and we got ourselves a small, thin little piece of wood and some, uh, looks like 30 gauge insulated wire, a special magnet. You got to have a special magnet and some nails and some springs. So I'm going to try to put this thing together, see if it works and uh, walk you through it. So here we go. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the little two nails in to the piece of wood here. So here we go. Nothing fancy, just pick a spot. Oh, and before you do that, see these little springs? Now, I decided to use springs because they will hold the coil in the center a lot easier than trying to cut a groove in there. So, almost forgot, almost. So, what you're going to do, slide that spring over the top just like that. I don't know if you can see that. See that spring? There you go. And that way, see this little guy on the side? He can hold on to that coil spindle like that. All right, now I'm just going to pound him into the wood. Oh, you can see where I kind of went through all the way. All right, take the other one, same thing. Bend that one piece of the spring over like that. See that? That way the, the coil can sit in there. All right, now I'm just going to pound him in there go all the way through where he sticks out see that sticking all the way through okay next thing take our special handy dandy magnet here if you notice there's a hole in the middle stick that nail in there all right and then I'm gonna try to pound him in there Woo! that's a strong magnet Okay, there we go. Now we got our, our magnet and our little springs to hold the coil in there. It's about right. Everything's locked in place. Not bad. I'd buy that for a dollar. Okay, so next we're going to use our wire. Okay, so what we're going to do with this wire is we're going to roll it around a piece of pipe and that'll make it a lot easier. So here we go. Okay, so I got a little spool of wire here, see that? Nice little red guy. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that wire and you're gonna run it around and around and around. <laughs> I know it's boring, huh? Making me dizzy. See that? I'm just tying that off. You wanna get that towards the center as much as you possibly can. Just like that. See that? So and that way it creates a, uh, a balance there when it goes to turn. See that? Okay. Now, if you got a razor blade, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scrape off all that insulation. Watch your finger now. You don't want to cut it off like I did in the video. All right, you're going <laughs> to 
<laughs> you're going to get all that insulation off of there. And on the other side, you're going to take it all off except for one side. You're going to leave one side insulated. And there's a reason for that. It'll shut the circuit on and off, on and off. Anyway, go ahead and scrape all that off except for that one side. Actually, I think you could probably scrape it all off since we're working with a uh, monopolar uh, magnet here. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to slide that guy right in there like that and right in there like that. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to take your handy dandy wire cutters and you're going to trim off what little wire you got left on the outside there. Not too much, just enough to keep it from imbalancing. And then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get those to sit right there. You're gonna try to balance that coil right on top of that magnet there. You can feel the resistance there. And then you're gonna give it a push. Come on, come on. And voila, look at that. Not bad, huh? Just show you that there's nothing on the wires, no nothing. And you can see the nails on the bottom there sticking through. Not too shabby. I'm not exactly sure why this thing runs, but maybe you can leave a comment down below and tell me exactly what's making this thing work. So, as you can see, there's, there's nothing there. And it's still working. I'm curious to see what kind of voltage this thing is generating. 2.4 volts. Keeps fluctuating. See that? 2.4 volts. Not bad. Well, there you go. Not sure why it works, but it works. So maybe if you leave me a comment down below, you can explain to me why this thing is working. So until next time, this has been Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying, it's too good to be true, it usually is.